No, so yeah, since we, we decided to uh, get quail on our homestead again, I figured I'd let you guys in on uh, kind of the secrets of all the benefits that there are with having quail on your homestead. So yeah, number one, they do not take up much space. Uh, this little setup right here can have 45 grown. I think at least 45, I think you can put it even more in here um, in just this small amount of space. Um, and they produce eggs. I mean, you get an egg a day from each one, you can get a lot of eggs. So they do not have to take up much space. You can keep them in your garage. Uh, we just keep them in this little basement down here. We just have a little tent uh, for starting seedlings and sometimes we get stuff grown in the winter, um, lettuce and stuff. But I just have a little room and then so we're gonna keep them in here. So number two, they're super easy to care for. Uh, they're basically just like chickens, they're just smaller. Um, if you have a setup like this, you just got to make sure this is filled with water um, the water is functioning through here um, and then they have food and you clean um, and that's basically it there's nothing really more to do so number three I already kind of mentioned um, but you have a lot of options of where you can keep them uh, you can keep them inside like we, we do right here um, a lot of people keep them in their garage or you can keep them outside um, you can make their you can make their cages outside um, just like chickens so uh they're very versatile in that um even you know even if you live in say you live in a suburb and they don't allow chickens you can get a setup like this and you can just keep them inside um inside your garage or inside your house even um so the fourth reason we like quail is their eggs are amazing uh i personally find that they are better they taste a lot better than um than chicken eggs uh, they're obviously very small um, but they taste amazing especially hard-boiled um, it is a lot to peel for a little egg but they're really good especially uh, my wife makes them she pickles them and they're perfect size uh, for really any just bite size basically bite size pickled eggs um, so they're great um, so the fifth thing is they can be raised for meat like chickens you can raise quail for meat uh, they do grow very quickly um, and if you have a setup like this uh, and as long as you keep keep a male in with the females you can get the eggs and you can throw them in the hatcher and you can keep cycling you can keep keep a whole cycle going we haven't done uh, we haven't raised them for meat yet um, we might start we'll see how that goes um, we're gonna do meat chickens this summer too so um, depending on our schedule um, we might do some meat uh, meat quail too so the other reason I just kind of mentioned is they are very easy to hatch um, they're very similar to chickens um, basically if you have if you have males and you have females in here and they're laying eggs I mean you just grab the eggs throw them in the hatcher and I think it's like a couple weeks 18 days something like that um, they hatch and then you got a little little quail and then you just take care of them and put them in here so the seventh reason I wanted to go over is they provide very good fertilizer much like chickens um, as far as my setup uh, this, this is a really well designed system um, basically the poop lands in the tray and then we can scrape it off throw it in a bucket uh, and then we can just throw it in the garden or you know use it, use, use it however you want to use it um, and they do provide a lot especially if you fill these up um, with quail uh, I mean, you can have, there's, they say five per section here, five, 10, so 15 birds pooping on a tray. Uh, so you can get a lot here, uh, just a few days. Um, we just try to clean it every day or two. So, um, that's, that's another benefit of quail, much like chickens. And then the last reason I wanted to go over is you can sell quail eggs. Um, it depends on your market in your area, what you can get for them. Uh, we haven't tried selling ours, but I think in a lot of areas they're, they're, kind of rare not a lot of people raise quail um so that can be an option um well so hopefully this video kind of helped you out um if you're deciding you want to do quail in your homestead uh i say it, i say go for it if you're thinking about it um it's totally worth it for us um, we've done it before and we're doing it again so um that says something um i will do another video on this system and how it works but i wanted to wait till i actually get quail in here um, so then you can really see, you can see what they look like in here and how it works uh, a little better than just, just if I kind of show you without any, any birds in there. But um, definitely if 
like and subscribe to the video if you feel it helped you out um and then you know send a link over to anyone you know you think might be interested in so till next time talk to you later